Hello, my name is Inea Lujan. I'm hanging out here in my studio in Pueblo, Colorado, and I am an artist. I came into the world of art through music. As a child, I was completely obsessed, and I've been a touring musician for the last 20 or so years through various projects and bands, including my current solo project. During lockdown orders, I dove pretty heavily into my curiosities of being a filmmaker and photographer. And when I caught wind of this 3x3 project, I took it as a sign and opportunity to invest those curiosities a bit further. I quickly was able to come up with a short documentary film idea to pitch for the 3x3 grant. And when I thought of people to include in this collaboration, I reached out to some of my favorite Southern Colorado artists. Those artists include legendary hip hop duo, The Reminders from Colorado Springs, multi-talented, multi-dimensioned, multimedia artist, Matt Refik from Pueblo, Colorado. And last but not least, Chayla Lujan, who is my dear friend and sister, who is a mother, bead worker, human rights activist, and educator living in La Junta, Colorado. My idea for the documentary film was to explore the importance of art in a time of crisis. This is something I was struggling with personally, I think, um, with just the uncertainty of a global pandemic, um, civil unrest from human rights issues worldwide, and just the overall vibe of the Trump presidency had left me feeling very uncertain about my own passions for continuing to create art or being an artist in general. So I think reaching out to some of my friends who I admire and respect so much, not only piqued my curiosity as to what they have to say on the issue, but also I knew somehow it was going to teach me something about myself. Spending the day with the reminders, going up to Fort Collins for a live stream and just seeing how quickly live streams had evolved from this sort of Instagram live, I'm on the selfie camera, phone sort of vibe, to like these full productions put on by venues in an attempt to keep venues alive through this pandemic. And just what it means to be a touring artist who now have lockdown orders, whose craft and livelihood depends so heavily on being able to be mobile and to communicate person to person with an audience. How does a group like The Reminders figure that out and navigate that? Hanging out with Matt Refik and being able to be in his studio and be a part of his morning ritual that included meditation. And another part of that was conjuring these monsters, he calls them, parts of him that he's shamed away that he conjures up to bring compassion to, to basically bring into the light. And he draws these um, as a form of his own rehabilitation and also as an offering to people who are inmates as a form of therapy through art. That's part of his work and part of his legacy. It was incredible hanging out with him and getting to chat with him about Get that. Get that side. Get that corner. Spending time with Chayla Lujan, my sister, my dear friend, and being able to go on indigenous lands shortly after a ceremony was held and to kind of be in that space. A lot of which I couldn't even capture on camera out of respect for the indigenous folk who were there and who were participating in such ceremonies. But to just be around that space and to see how that weaves its way into her human rights activism and how that weaves its way into her beadwork and into through initiatives like Take Note Colorado, her offering music education and music programs to kids in southeastern Colorado. This whole process taught me so much. And as a first time filmmaker, I definitely was weighing over my head, um, but I'm so happy with where the film landed and I think it's a really good start to something I want to dedicate more of my time to in the future. I'm so grateful for grants like 3x3 that offer artists like me to explore these curiosities and to do it in a way where I can take more risks. Um, so I'm just so grateful for that. There are certainly a lot of challenges along the way, 
but I learned so much and I'm so grateful to share my findings with you. And I think you're really going to enjoy them as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed hearing a little bit of the background about this film. I hope you enjoy the film. Peace and love.